welcome to another episode of Professor Evergreen. I'm going to make today's episode really quick because a lot of the changes that I'm talking about are happening in a couple hours or have already started right now. So let's get to it. We're going to talk about everything going on with the Halloween event with Pokemon Go as well as the changes with the Mega Raids. One last thing to note is that after about a week of doing this YouTubing stuff, I think I'm going to start restructuring things a little bit to its original purpose. And as much as I love Pokemon Go, I have a lot of research that is outside of the Pokemon Go realm. So we're going to be focusing on all kinds of things Pokemon. Before we get started today, if you've not gotten a Galarian Farfetch'd or Galarian Ponyta, get out there. You've only got about two hours and something minutes left before it goes and before they both jump into 7k eggs. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the Pokemon Halloween. So go ahead and hit the Pokeball at the bottom, hit news, and this is how I get all my news. This is where I get most of what I find out, aside from stuff I see on Twitter. Then you can go ahead and hit the steal yourself for some spooky, scary shenanigans during Pokemon Go Halloween. After that, you want to scroll to the bottom where it says blog. That's right, that will take you to PokemonGoLive.com. And as you can see, there's a lot more data here than there is in that little update notification. So let's go ahead and through this and see what we got. The event is supposed to start 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which I live on the East Coast. It's going to be 9 p.m. for us. Features. Ghost type Pokemon will be appearing more often in the wild, will be featured in raids, and will be hatching more frequently from eggs, which is awesome. I forgot about the whole more ghosts hatching from eggs thing. This year, Gengar and Sableye will be wearing costumes. Face off with costume Gengar and raids, and keep an eye out for costume Sableye in the wild. It may even hatch from an egg. That's interesting. Which egg? All right, moving on along. Galarian Yamask will appear in Pokemon Go for the first time. Complete the new Halloween 2020 special research. A spooky message. Unmasked. Let's see what else it says here. To help Professor Will uncover the mystery surrounding this Pokemon, Spirit Bomb can be encountered by completing certain field research tasks and by completing the new Halloween 2020 special research story. A spooky, a spooky message unmasked. Uh, okay, so that's going to have to be an important one. And if you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny one. I don't even know what color shiny Spirit Bomb is. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's, it's the bomb. Trainers who completed the Mega Buddy Challenge timed research, luckily I did do that, will be able to participate in an exclusive timed research that will reward Gengar Mega Energy, which we're going to need. As I said before, Shiny Mega Gengar is one of my favorite shinies in all of Pokemon. And let's see, next here we have Darkrai will be featured in 5 star raids. I just did a Darkrai raid, so that's already started. Enjoy Halloween themed field research tasks. I guess we'll find out more about that in a little bit. New avatar items will be available in the style shop. Get dressed for Halloween with a Pikachu mask, Gengar onesie, Sableye goggles. I, I gotta have a Sableye goggles. And Sableye mask or Banet mask. You can also try out the new spooky pose. <laughs> What's the spooky pose gonna be like? Anyways. Keep those eyes peeled for the Creepy Crate, Boo Bundle, and Pumpkin Pack boxes in the shop. Take a snapshot for some spooky surprises. Those are those snapshots. The bonuses are going to be two times the transfer candy and two times catch candy. Now this is all going to go on until November 3rd, 2020, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. It says here, this year's Halloween event will contain a number of ways to celebrate Alolan Marowak Raid Day on Saturday, October 31st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're going to have the Catch Mastery Ghost Day, Ghost Day, which I've already explained in a previous video. That's going to be October 25th, this coming Sunday, so get ready for that. Go Battle League Halloween Cup from Monday, October 26th until Tuesday, November 3rd. Looks like there's going to be a Halloween Cup in, uh, involving the Go Battle League in this format. Only Poison, Bug, Ghost, Dark, and Fairy-type Pokemon with 
1,500 CP or less will be allowed to participate. You can also earn encounters with Costume, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. This is going to be an insane event. I'm super soaked. Once again, all this information can be found in the Pokemon Go app. All you have to do is click on News and then hit on the link, the hyperlink that goes directly to the blog, which is PokemonGoLive.com. So that's where I'm at here. I'm going to hit Done. I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to hit the next piece of news here that we're going to talk about. And that's that Mega Venusaur is leaving Mega Raids today. Plus, there's updates on Mega Evolution, which is really cool. Let's talk about that. So first things first, uh, Mega Venusaur is leaving. Mega Gengar is here to stay, at least for right now. So Mega Gengar is now in the Mega Raids. However, you'll be able to earn Venusaur Mega Energy by completing field research tasks. So at least you'll still be able to get that. In addition, in November, it looks like there's going to be a time to research that rewards Venusaur Mega Energy. So worry not, even though it's going to be gone, you can still get that Mega Energy. We'll provide other ways for you to earn Venusaur Mega Energy in the future, so stay tuned for updates. In early November, there will be several updates to the Mega Evolution feature. You'll be able to do the following. Earn Mega Energy by walking with your buddy. <laughs> I'm going to be walking that. Uh, if your buddy has previously Mega Evolved into... Okay, blah, blah. Earn additional candies when you have active Mega Evolved Pokemon and when you catch a Pokemon that shares a type with your Mega Evolved Pokemon. You will also earn additional candies when catching raid bosses, regardless of its type. See trainers on your friends list who currently have a Mega Evolved Pokemon. All right. This tells me one thing, and that's that I need to start walking a Mega Evolution Pokemon so that when this finally rolls out, I will be able to have, like, you know, hopefully uh, a best buddy that can do a lot of different things, including collecting more of these Mega Energy. Well, that was quick, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the Drawing from Memory, and today it's going to be Jirachi. It's a Steel Psychic type mythical Pokemon, and I believe it has a little tag on its head. It's got like a three star shaped head hat. At least it's part of its head. <laughs> Here we go. It has these like tags at the end. And then, uh, well, they're more like tags, so let's make it more tag like. Here we go. And that's actually a hat that Jirachi is wearing, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Jirachi's got this, uh, these, these, um, it's like little round heads, so I'm gonna give it a round head there, give it two little eyes. Very nice. Jirachi has a little tiny mouth, kind of like Celebi and, um, and Mew. Jirachi is a psychic type, of course, steel, like I said. But it's one of the uh, psychic mythicals that exist, and it does have uh, these little arms, it does have these little legs, and it's got these really long scarf, the scarf that goes pretty long, so I think it's part of its hat, and there's a scarf, and I think that did it, alright, this is Jirachi, it's pretty crazy looking Jirachi if you ask me. And if I do have a card around here somewhere, I'll grab that real quick. It's actually in my battle, my league battle deck, the uh, Pikachu and the Zekrom, which was my favorite before it got rotated out. Here's actually the, the hollow that comes with it. So here is the Jirachi. I got it face down, now it's face up. Here we go, comparison. Close enough. Alright, and as I said earlier in the video, I will be restructuring my channel and doing things a little bit differently. So you might not be seeing videos every other day or every three days. Instead, you might be seeing something once a week. So until next time, this is Professor Evergreen saying sayonara. Oh wait, that's right. One more thing. I've got a question to ask you. The question is going to be, do you have a Pokemon plush, like one of those plushies? For example, I have got the Pikachu wearing the Mimikyu Halloween costume. So do you have a plushie? Which plushie is your favorite? And let me know in the comments. All right, now this is Professor Evergreen saying sayonara.